Welcome to this episode of Trojan Poetry. This week I've chosen a poem and John has not seen it yet. Nope. This is a poem of thanks because it is called Thanks by Yusuf Komunyaka. Thanks for the tree between me and a sniper's bullet. I don't know what made the grass sway seconds before the Viet Cong raised his soundless rifle. Some voice always followed telling me which foot to put down first. Thanks for deflecting the ricochet against that anarchy of dusk. I was back in San Francisco, wrapped up in a woman's wild colors, causing some dark bird's love call to be shattered by daylight when my hands reached up and pulled a branch away from my face. Thanks for the vague white flower that pointed to the gleaming metal, reflecting how it is to be broken like mist over the grass as we played some deadly game for blind gods. What made me spot the monarch writhing on a single thread tied to a farmer's gate, holding the day together like an unfingered guitar string is beyond me. Maybe the hills grew weary and leaned a little in the heat. Again, thanks for the dud hand grenade tossed at my feet outside Chu Lai. I'm still falling through its silence. I don't know why the intrepid sun touched the bayonet, but I know that something stood among those lost trees and moved only when I moved. Wow. All right. There's a lot going on here. Yes. All right. Hit us with some insights, John. Um, John will now proceed to yeah, break well, this down. My, the thing I came to was something about how he was trying, or he kept focusing on small details, or at least with the monarch, right? And mm -hmm. then he... So clearly, he's in Vietnam. He's in some kind of fight, right? Mm -hmm. Like a, a gun gunfire is being exchanged mm -hmm. and he's either daydreaming well about the woman right mm -hmm. in san francisco and then he notices the butterfly and then he thinks about the silence in the fall of the grenade mm -hmm. so it's like even though he's in the midst of this very intense battle mm -hmm. um his mind is completely focusing on other things Right. Yeah, that struck me too. It's okay. a, I, I, it was kind of bizarre that you're sitting here about to be shot by a sniper, and, and I'm not sure if this is all happening in the same moments right. or if these are different things that happen to him. And um, especially those first couple lines, that's, that's what drew me into the poem, why I yeah. picked it. Thanks for the tree between me and a sniper's bullet. Right. Right. Um, and and then a, it goes to the grenade. So there's yes. the bullet and there's the grenade and the bayonet at mm -hmm. some point, right? Thanks for deflecting the ricochet against that anarchy of dusk. I mean, it sounds like he was almost killed there. Yeah. Then he was almost killed again when the flower shows him that there's a gun pointing through the grass. And okay. then he's almost killed again by the hand grenade. Right. Right, unless those are two separate scenes. But So he's kind of giving thanks for the multiple escapes he had mm -hmm. and what he was doing or thinking during those escapes, like his mind would wander, but something would, is that it? Like, well, I think he was escaping during the escape, right? Oh, and his yeah. mind oh. was drifting yeah, and okay. then he, you know, he wanted to be home. He wanted to be everywhere else. I, and I also re just really like the descriptions of, of what was going on in his mind yeah. as these crazy things were happening, right? I was back in San Francisco wrapped up in a woman's wild colors. That's great. You know, all those W's in a row there. Yeah causing some dark bird's love call to be shattered by daylight. And, it, you know, yeah. I thought that was a really cool image. I also liked, as we played some deadly game for blind gods. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure what that meant. Maybe that nothing is looking down, nothing is going to save them in yeah. this moment. You right, know, they're, like playing the war, war. they're playing war games, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the monarch one. What made me mm -hmm. spot the monarch writhing on a single thread tied to a farmer's gate... Mm -hmm. Holding, oh, so he's the monarch is like in a cocoon, right? And it's kind of like hanging there, mm -hmm. about to holding about the day to together like an unfingered guitar string. That's a really cool image. Like I don't like trying I to figure out what that means. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it like it's got potential. Cool. Right, holding the day together. Yeah, maybe that's the only thing that's keeping him right together yeah. right now because mm -hmm. of his fear or. Maybe the hills grew weary and leaned a little in the heat. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, there's just these cool little yeah. descriptions sprinkled yeah. in there. Surreal. Yeah, surreal, but grounded in very real things, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And, and here's the thing. Like, so he says, thanks, thanks, thanks. But then he's talking about playing the game for blind gods. So 
who is he thanking? Ah, that's a good point. Right? Yeah. Who's out there if no one's watching? Right. Um, but it sounds like, obviously, the speaker has been through a lot, and, yeah, he's giving thanks for so many things, not just escaping death, but also for, almost he's, like, thanking for these daydreams right. that kind of saved me. Right. But then ultimately, who is he thanking? Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, I mean, it's... That's a really good question. Yeah. That's really, I hadn't even thought about that. So a complex mm -hmm. look at gratitude, right? In the face of, of near yeah, death. Yeah, horrors, yeah, yeah. Of horror. Yeah. Well, I wow. looked up uh, Kumun Kumunyaka, and I hope I'm saying his, his name correctly. Uh, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning poet, author of more than 10 poetry collections, and he is a distinguished senior poet at New York University in their graduate uh, creative writing program. So, obviously very distinguished, and uh, I want to read more of his stuff. Yeah. I hadn't heard of him before, and I came across this poem, and obviously there's a whole world of poetry out there that... Yeah, and it would be interesting to take like this and compare it to like Wilfred Owen mm -hmm. and the war poets from World War One, right? Mm -hmm. Siegfried Sassoon, is that right? That's mm -hmm. right, Siegfried mm -hmm. Sassoon. Um, look at some of those, right, and see yeah, maybe... And compare, right? A yeah. hundred years later. Yeah. You can go back to Stephen on. Crane and yeah. mm -hmm. further back. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Please join the conversation in the comments on YouTube or on Twitter at Trojan Poetry DGN. Also, check out our website at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com. Mm -hmm.